next part and go. Here we go. Let's open this up.
accident. And he's going to just go to the pit area. He's had enough. Well, he knows. I mean, he's still got a bunch of cars on this racetrack and, and very few laps left. Uh, only five laps to go in this one, so it would be a hard-fought battle to get back in there, at least into the top uh, two, because he knows that he would have been in the maybe get to six, maybe even fifth. Uh, but right now, it looks like he's taking that 15 car back to his pit area, which is very deep in the pit area here at Lucas Oil Speedway. And remember, the 24 cars that don't make it after the big names, they lose with that big wishy metal channel. So, give me a chance there, but he's headed back to his pit area. He's done with his racing gears. Delaware Double File Restart. Love that in Dirt Fleet Model Racing action. That means the leader has a row all by himself and then two wide all the way back throughout the field. So far, Will Vaughn, your leader, Jesse Stovall in second. That's the final transfer spot. Greg Satterley riding in that third spot. Jack Sullivan is in fourth. And now Chase Younghands moves up in the 18 to the top five. Gavin Landers, Brad Lundy, Jake Davis, Joe Gonsi, Mitch McGrath, Jeff Roth. They get only two in advance.
Satterley, last year in a run in the Show Me 100 and finished in that sixth spot. Winds up with a transfer and so does Jesse Stovall, a former podium finisher. He